guys. Hello, this is a video on one sample hypothesis testing, testing a mean. You wish to test the following claim at a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.001. So my claim is the alternative hypothesis. <clears throat> you believe the population is normally distributed, but you do not know the standard deviation. So that's kind of important there. You don't know the population standard deviation. You obtain n equals 25, x bar equals 46, and s equals 12.3. Perform a hypothesis test. Well, for this hypothesis test, I cannot use the standard normal distribution. I don't know the population standard deviation. I have to use the t distribution. This is also a left-tailed test because I have less than. In my, null, in my alternative hypothesis. So left tailed test, all good information to know. <laughs> well, Google Sheets is going to do the rest for me. All I need to do is find the test statistic p-value, compare the p-value to my significance level alpha, and then I can come to my conclusion. Google Sheets, you'll wanna type in X bar, which is 46, You'll want to type in the sample standard deviation, 12.3. You'll want to type in a sample size of 25. Your population mean value in question, mu naught, is 52.9. And then your null hypothesis sign is less than. So we're going to go to Google Sheets and type this information in. You'll go to the data list tab and make sure you go to the t-distribution region since we don't know the population standard deviation. All right, so the sample mean would be 46, standard deviation 12.3, sample size 25, mu naught 52.9, and then the sign of your alternative hypothesis would be less than. <clears throat> That's all you have to type in, and it looks like we have a test statistic of negative 2.80, that's rounded to two decimal places and a p-value of, of 0 0.0049, 0 0.0049. All right, so my test statistic is equal to negative 2.80. And then my p-value is equal to 0 0.0049. In this case, my level of significance alpha is 0.001. I have to take my p-value and compare it to alpha. In this case, the p-value is actually greater than alpha. The p-value is greater than alpha, which means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. So fail to reject. All right, so my claim in this case was once again, the alternative hypothesis. So since I failed to reject the null hypothesis and the original claim does not include equality, that puts me in the third row here. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that whatever the claim is in this case. So this gives us the following conclusion statement. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that mu is less than 52.9. So that's an example of conducting a hypothesis test using the p-value alpha comparison method. Thanks for watching.